Hey guys, how's it going? It's me. Um, well, this is like kind of like a special video for a couple of reasons. Um, number one, because this is actually my first video that I'm filming on my new MacBook Pro. So, ooh, I hope Tim's vlogs and Ben Hughes are touching themselves right now, knowing that I'm using a MacBook Pro to create this video. I mean, I don't know if the quality's any better. Um, I know the light's a little bit better because I have a light right up here and it's shining on me. That's why I look like Snow White right now. <sighs> but anyway, the reason I'm making this video is because I wanted to share a story with you, okay? This is the story of Janet went to the movies today. I went and saw It's a Wonderful Life in the movie, movie theater because it was playing there. It was such an amazing movie. I, I could not I cannot believe I had never seen it before in its entirety. And it was really touching and I cried like a little bitch and blah 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 and blah 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 and all that sort of rot. Even though these two guys in the theater were fucking arguing with each other. It was so stupid. Because there was this one old guy who was sitting there, he was coughing, right? You know, I mean old people cough. It's what they do. Get over it. And it wasn't that bad. I mean, I was sitting there watching the movie, I heard the guy coughing, and I'm just like I'm like, eh, whatever, I don't care. And this other guy who's, like, the guy who's coughing is sitting right here, and the other guy is sitting way over here, and he's like, you should really go outside if you're going to cough. And the other guy was just got all pissed, and he's all, fuck you, and na na na. And they kept having this shouting match right in between me while I'm trying to watch this movie. So I finally was just like, you know what, fuck this. I was like, I was like excuse me, shut up, both of you, please. And they both shut up. And actually, the guy who initiated the whole fight, he actually walked out. He must have had a huge stick up his ass because it really was not a big deal. This old man's coughing really did not affect the movie that much. And he was being more disruptive because he was talking. This, this older guy, he was just coughing every now and again. And this guy was talking really loudly. And he was like, you should really leave the theater if you're going to cough. And rah, 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 rah. He was just being a straight up dick. But anyway... Moving forward, moving past that, okay? So afterwards, I had, I had, before I went into the movie, actually, I'm going to backtrack a little bit. I uh, went into their little arcade area, and I was playing some um, DDR and some pinball. And they also had one of these games in there. Um, it's where you had, uh, I'm trying to think how to describe this game. But it's like... It's like a video screen in front of you, and you have to line up all the bricks. Like the first, I think, couple ones are three bricks, and you line them up perfectly. And then it goes to two, and you have to get the two in the same as the three, and then you have one, and you have to land it on top of that perfectly. There's like, when you get to a certain point, you win like a minor prize, which is like a little bitch prize. It's like a sticker or decals or something stupid and gay like that. But if you get all the way to the top, you get one of the major prizes. I tried once before the movie and I lost and I was like, eh, eh, no big deal. And after I, I came out of the movie theater, I still had a bunch of tokens and I was like, hey, I'll play this. It's a great way to burn four tokens because it cost a dollar each time. And keep in mind, I only played this one other time. I only played one other time, okay? Possibly even two for maybe a total of three dollars I put into this machine. I ended up winning one of the major prizes. And basically, I had three options. I could have gotten like a video camera for like your bicycle or something like that, a PSP, that's irony for you, or a tablet. Well, I ended up picking the tablet. This is the tablet that I won. I don't know how good it is. I really don't know anything about it. All I know is it's a tablet and I got it for $3. And there was another interesting story. I swear the angels are constantly testing me on stupid shit, okay? Because the, I was all excited. I was like, oh, I can't believe I want a tablet. And it's like going near, near, near. And then it gets to like the edge of the thing. And there's like a thing right here, you know, like a metal thing. And it hangs there. And I was like, I was like, my prize. No! And I was like, fuck. See, I said, even when I win, I fucking lose every time. So I called one of the guys who works there. He had the key, tried to open it. He couldn't open the machine. And he was like, we need to talk to the gaming tech guy. Give me your name and number and blah, blah, blah. We'll hold this for you. And I'm thinking to myself, 
all someone has to do is see that this prize is like hanging by like this much and they're going to tilt the machine and, and steal it. So I was like, okay, I was like, I'm going to give myself a couple minutes. So I went over to the machine and I was like, I want to do this without tilting the machine because if I tilt the machine forward, it's probably going to fall on me and that could hurt. So I'm kind of shaking the machine a little bit from the sides and I'm just like, that's not working. I need some. And then I realized you can move the machine like go, duh, duh. You could move the machine back and forth. And I was like, that's brilliant. And I started moving it back and forth, back and forth. And slowly I, I noticed because there was like this much hanging over and then all of a sudden it got less. And I was like, oh, I was like, oh my God, is it actually going to fall? And then finally, boom, it fell right down. And I was so happy. And I found the guy again. I said, look, it fell. I'm so happy. Um, so yeah, so I was going to go ahead and open, open this lovely $3 tablet for you guys. So we can take a look at it. Oh, and actually I think it's an, a droid tablet too, because it's got that little, I don't know if you can see it, focus. There it is. Little, little droid symbol on it. So... This is actually going to be interesting because I'm curious to see how this tablet is going to compare with, say, my iPad. And I'm already thinking one added bonus this tablet is probably going to have over that one is that I'll be able to download Flash to it. But, I mean, but again, you know, I'm not here to split hairs. I'm not here to start shit with all of those who love apples or Apple products, or any of that. I mean, hell, I'm recording this on an Apple computer. Very expensive Apple computer, as Mr. Dink would say. If you don't know who Mr. Dink is, uh, he was a character from the TV series Doug. D-O-U-G. All right, so let's take a look at this little tablet. Let's see, ooh, it's really small. Wow, it is actually really fucking small. Take a look at it. Look at it. Look, it's so cute. I mean, look at how much smaller it is in comparison to the the iPad. Here, I'm gonna turn it around like this just so you can see the size comparison here. It's crazy. So I'm not quite sure how this thing works or or anything like that. I was just gonna um, kind of plug it in and see if it does anything cool, <laughs> you know? Yeah, no, just plug it in, see what it does, eh? Because, plug this into here, and then I take this over here. Uh, God, you know what's funny? It looks like I could probably use the charger from my, from my phone, from my Samsung Galaxy to charge this thing even. But anyway, but I concur. Okay, so I got this all plugged in. I'm so excited, and I just can't hide it. Okay, plugged in. So now, oh, look. It's getting battery power. Yay, battery power. But uh, I don't know what else to do with this except uh, maybe let it charge for a bit. Ooh, it's got, it says magnet. Magnet. I'm guessing that's the kind of tablet it is. It's an Android tablet for sure. Hope you can see that okay. Ah, I gotta be careful because my extension cord is like over there. But yeah, I, this is really impressive how small it is com in, compared to the, um, to the iPad. And how long is this video? about nine minutes. I'm probably gonna cut this cut this off in a couple minutes. I may just go ahead and let this thing charge up for a while and then then figure it out later. I'm not even sure what this thing is for. Anybody? Anybody? <laughs> I mean it looks like some kind of like you plug a USB into this and it turns it into a, a charger. I, I don't know. I don't know. I do not know. But yay, the good news is this tablet comes with a user's manual. 
user's manual to the rescue. So I'm hoping the user's manual will tell me what the fuck this thing is. Because, see, it has a thing here for a USB, and it has a thing here to plug into the tablet. But I don't know why you would have something like this when, if you have a USB, you can just plug it into the wall here. So I'm not quite sure what this, this is for. Maybe I just stick it up my nose. Oh, maybe it'll clear my sinuses. I don't know. I seriously doubt that. But anyway, um, I just wanted to get touch base again on um, this movie I saw today because, um, like I said, I've never seen it. I have never, in my, in my 40 years of life, I have never seen It's a Wonderful Life in its entirety until today. And I have a ticket stub to prove it. It's a wonderful lie. <laughs> but anyways... I'm going to go ahead and get going because I'm, I'm curious to see how this video is going to look once I put it up, if I can figure out how to do that. So, um, take it easy, guys. Bye-bye.